Hello, incoming transmission. We intend to. Goodbye. It's the same transmission as before. Okay, we should consider sending our squads to neighboring areas. Oh, he said something different that time, didn't he? I screwed it up. Uh, I think. Oh, he's talking about expeditions. So we, now we can send our squads to expeditions, and we can have it come on down over here, in Deer, near Deerfield Road. Hey, eh? uh, I don't think I've ever been in this part of town, to be honest. I don't think I've ever been over here. Uh, but we're getting a signal somewhere, right? We got this wavy sort of like this is where our antenna reaches kind of signal area and uh well something's going on over here at deerfield road and i i i i'd never been in this road actually have i wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Do you recognize where this place is actually yes i have my one of my best friends in high school he lived in an apartment complex Yep, he lived in apartments. These are apartments. Wow, is that... No, it didn't... It, I wanted to zoom in on this. And it doesn't let me. It, it kicks me over here. Okay, never mind. These are apartments. I think. I'm not 100% sure now. Uh, Yeah, come down here. Absolutely, yep. I remember this. Like it was yesterday. It also could have been here. <laughs> I don't remember what that is. Either way, we can send out an expedition that way. Uh, the danger mu music is still showing up, though, I think, because we know that they're infected in that building now. So I don't think we're done with clearing out buildings. So let's get in the car. Uh, yeah, we'll take the truck, I guess. Because it, it's got fuel, right? Yeah, everything's fueled up and ready to go. So we're going to take people over here. We're going to grab this stuff. And then, again, I'm going to spend the winter scavenging out here as much as I can. Um, but I, I really got to focus on getting is more, more brick. So, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. Let's take this entire wall. The whole wall project. How much brick do we have right now? We have 60 brick. Okay. I want to guard these buildings. So, we're going to build this part of it first. So we'll get our, our, our extra labor right now to work on this part of the wall. And then the rest of it should be going to resource scavenging. Um, we have this building to break down. So we'll have them work on this one. Uh, and this one is, there's two more people there. Okay. And then there's only one person cutting wood here. That's fine. And uh, I don't think anybody's breaking down these anymore because I pulled them out of them. Okay. That's fine. At least we don't have 17 people sitting around doing nothing. And then we'll take the squad over here and clear this building out. Reporting. Going there. Ready for action. All right. Assault rifle Going first. Head on in. We'll get them. Waiting orders. Kill them. Go, go, go. Let's clear it out. Waiting orders. Waiting orders. Just making sure people aren't getting... Okay, we are getting injuries. The longer we stay in the building, I found... I wanted to see how long we could last, but I found the longer we stay in the building, the more likely we are to get injured. So that's why I kept taking them out and putting them back in because um, it was reducing injury risks. However, we now have one person out of ammo, so that's no good. We're good. All right. We got a couple of wounds, but otherwise we're in fine shape. Okay. Still danger music. <laughs> I'm not sure why we still have the danger music. It's it seems a little unnecessary. Uh is this an extra car? It can't be, right? Yeah, we don't have No 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 no. This is I don't know. How do I leave the car here? This one's the the junker, which still has a pistol in it. You silly billies. You didn't unload the pistol. Let's get out of the car, go into this one really quick, grab that pistol, and then go back to HQ. No, you're not going to do it? Can you please bring the gun to the HQ building? 
parketh thy truck. Uh-huh. And now take the resources into HQ. You didn't? Yeah, you did. Okay, good. Excellent. So now, of course, they can get... we got to treat the wounded if we can. So how about we grab... We'll disband you and put two people here. Now, if they're wounded, they can go ahead and lay in the bed. We'll disband this group as well. So if I recall now, that means we have no squads, no active squads right now. Okay, good. Um, I'm going to say that we scavenge some resources from these buildings if we can. At least for the next couple of hours until sunset, which is uh, at least sunset starting to get a little later in the day. That's great. We got more people arriving. Sir, we've encountered a group of people willing this to is the us. part that's a problem though, right? We got more people arriving. We have to feed them. We have almost no food. So anything that happens with new people, those jobs have to be created in the food industry. And it's February. We're going to start farming again, but we haven't been able to farm. So this year, we really have to buckle down on expanding food and, and putting all efforts into feeding people right now. I want Send this labor... In. So against my better judgment, I am going to bring them in because that's an extra seven people. Um, extra seven people means means we're going to have almost two canned food more expenditure every day. And you can see I have almost nothing, right? But I have meat I can process. So I want to start doing that too. And I have some wood. So these cookhouses should have been on meat the whole time, but... We're going to have our own rations being made. And that's what's keeping us alive right now is the fact that we have the meat, right? The barn is keeping us alive right now. I'd love to get, like, another barn. Um, I, I would love to have another barn, man. Uh, that would be so good. Um, if I did two, four, I mean, probably this one, right? Oh, this one. If I hadn't broken this building down, I could have made that one the, the meat. Yeah, it's going to be this one. We're going to make another barn out of this one so that we can get some more chickens that way. So we got 61 people now. Pretty crazy. Uh, and then all of them have a job. So I need to uh, take that job away from this many people at least so I can have another squad. Uh, yep, let's go ahead and get... Uh, at least two squads. Reporting. Fully equipped. Operator. There we go. Uh, assault rifles are in the HQ. Operator. Pistols are... Pistols are going in the car. Not that car. Pistols Operator. are going into, let's say, that car. We're on the move. Should be that car right there. We have people in this tower to guard that little corner wall. So there's at least that. But we need to... Like, that was so many infected two days in a row. So I got to believe they're going to give me an easy night tonight. That's what I want to believe. Excuse me? Who are you? Some unemployed guy named Wayne Washington. Well, all right there, Wayne Washington. You took forever to took forever to get back to HQ, didn't you? Uh, we are going to... Uh, I have labor on this. I have two people working that field. Damn. I shouldn't have had, and you don't have anybody working fields during the, the winter. You don't want that. Um, I'm thinking I need this fertilization techniques. I need to get that going. Um, so I'm going to place five people. Yep. Five people into the research center tomorrow. We're going to get this fertilization techniques done. Shouldn't take very long. And then uh, that means for this year and the springtime comes. We should get increased yield from these fields. And then in addition to that, we have two, so we have sets of basic tools. Uh, so there's two more tools for this. And I'm going to have that go towards another field. Right here is fine. Yep, like that. It looks like it's a little, that's a little weird. How does it look like that? Is there a path? Oh, I think there's a sidewalk or a path or something going through that. It looks strange. I don't want that there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want that. I don't want it to look strange. Um, we'll just go. We'll go here. So on the jobs now, I've added. Uh, yeah, we'll go right in front of the cookhouse. It's fine right there. So we got seven more people. 
I'm going to put them in the barn and on the fields, right? I'm just trying to expand how much food can we, can we make? Um, and then of course, having additional workers in the cookhouses is going to help too. So that's the next place that I'm going to have people, uh, working more of. Wow. I was not aware we were on max speed, but here we are. <laughs> I'm glad I checked that. Okay. Almost done with the night time. It's getting quiet. Too quiet. I mean, if they give you like two or three hardly hard days in a row, you kind of have to give you a, a little bit of a break, right? 6.30 is sun, sun up. There we go. Okay. You are disbanded. You are disbanded. We are back into resource collection mode, please. It is March. We're running out of stock. We still cannot uh, grow anything in these fields. Uh, I don't believe so anyway. Let's just use this one as a as a symbol here. So yeah, negative 74% from temperature. This is over. This is over? What? What? Uh, who are you? Who are you? Do you realize you're all gonna die? We're all gonna die. Oh, he's one of those guys. You're one of those kinds of people. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy? Do you people understand nothing? You're sick, dude. You're sick. <laughs> There's still hope. You're wrong. There's still hope. Hope? There's no hope. There's hell on earth, and we're living in it. Well, we don't have any other choice. There's no other choice. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Absolute bonkers, man. <laughs> all right. Yep. We. I want everybody assigned to working on that barn right now. We need that done. Uh, because tomorrow, the next day, right, the uh, penalties on these fields are going to be re greatly reduced. And um, we're going to have everybody working on the fields then. Uh, we got company. Raiders coming in on this side. Uh, looks like there are th two of them. They do. Uh, I mean, the Raiders are almost always armed, right? So, new squad load up. And uh, let's... Operator. I said we'll go this way. Uh, we'll bring people off of this and then we'll add one new squad to reinforce. Yeah. Oh, you're just checking us out, huh? Not really interested in, uh, in stealing anything. It's all right. You're just taking some workers away from me for the day. Is that, yeah, that's the only thing you're trying to do is just take away my workers for the day. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I got that. I can bring this into the cookhouse. That'd be fine if I could do that. Drop that off. I think I have to bring it to storage or or HQ. So, which is another reason why I don't have an external storage at the moment. It makes it easier for people to rob me. Uh, right now, if they want to rob my resources, they have to come to my HQ to get them. If I had external storage, they could get them from storages too. I don't like where they're going. I don't like how far they're how close they're getting. Oh, I don't like how close they're getting. We're gonna engage that now. Yeah, we're going to engage this now. Reporting. I don't Operator. I don't want them getting any closer. Let's go. We'll get them. Shoot. Requesting support. They are down. I don't know why you're here, but you're not anymore. Thanks for your guns. I appreciate your guns. Oh, we got another group over here, huh? Wow, coming in from the other side, you sneaky cusses. Okay, well, uh, you know, I will uh, take these resources back. We're going to go in this truck and just... Yeah, Raider spotted, I know. We're just going to get him from this, this truck. Uh, there's There are only two people, so we have the element of surprise. We'll have the first attack. Shouldn't be a problem. We have much greater... We can we can shoot them uh, from a dis better distance. 
they most likely have pistols yeah so our assault rifle will be more effective anyway here we go uh did you hear that I guess I didn't hear it. Must have been the truck engine. It's, it sounds different than the cars. Roger. Eh, On my way. Not that much different. Let's do it. I thought I heard the snarling, you know. But Roger. I guess, whatever. We got four guns from that, right? To, all the raiders had guns, and we got their guns. That is awesome. I'm loving that. Uh, we should put workers on that field, get that running There's immediately. No God, are we really not going to get this, this thing done today? takes so long to make buildings. I don't think we're going to get it done today. That barn needs to be done. All right. Uh, I probably should go get that car. It's not really urgent, but I should go get it. What's, is there anything inside it? No. We'll go get that car. And then uh, let's make a new squad with the new guns we have. And we'll be ready for any raids or any... You know, any dorks that want to come out and get us for this night. We'll be ready for that. I'm going to skip you guys ahead a little bit here because I don't know. Let me know how you feel. Do you want to see every single second or are you good with, you know, what what kinds of, let me know in the comments, what kinds of stuff should I skip for you, right? And I can't please everyone. I know that. So just because you say it doesn't mean I'm going to do it, but uh, I just want to get a consensus for it. Every single moment is it gripping or is there are some parts of this that are just kind of like, he's doing that again. You know, because like we are starving right now, dissatisfied. Uh, you know, we have a lot of people starving, um, and it's like I can't keep up with food fast enough. I, I can't process this food fast enough. Ten hours to produce five rations, and then uh, on this side over here, it's uh, another three and a half hours. I just I need a higher source of stuff, and I need to have, you know, not as many squads. So if we don't produce food tomorrow, people die, <laughs> basically. So we must produce food tomorrow. Reporting. I actually think what I need to do is get canned food tonight. Receiving. I have to get canned food tonight. I think that's actually a better narrative, a, be a better way of saying this. Um, because if I don't, they'll wake up in the morning and they won't have the food Ready at all. Action. So Let's do it. actually Ready what I'm going to do is I'm going to get people in cars and go get food. And that means a very risky night, you know? But I think it's going to have to happen. It's going to have to be... It's going to hopefully be worth it. Um, is there anyone working in a place they don't need to work? Barn is important. Research, that's not important anymore. You can create a new squad and do that. So this car, I want you to go and search these buildings. Roger. At least you're close by. Going there. This car, we're going to search these buildings. At least you're close by. This one is going to go to... Where's the truck? Right there. The truck. We're on the move. You're going to grab the truck. And we're going to create, create two squads Operator. here that are both armed Receiving. and ready Operator. to go. But we have to get canned food tonight. Because there's no alternative. People will just starve if I don't do it. Um, and that truck is really hard to click on, man. I wish they wouldn't Waiting stack orders. things on top of each other like this, but they do. So hopefully we find some good canned food here. Receiving. Waiting orders. And I've got to keep these guys separate. Operator clear. Uh, let's get people who Operator. aren't wounded. Reporting. That's short supply as well. Truck. Let's do it. Please. I wish you guys wouldn't stack them on top of each other. There's nothing left. Okay. Receive Did that go to that building? Right. Truck? Yep, truck, I want you to go this way. Roger. There's Operator. nothing in there, so they're not going to go back to the car on their own. They have to have something scavenged, a reason to go back to the car, otherwise they won't do it. All right, I got to keep an eye on everything. Kind of play this. As fast as I can. As safely as I can. We'll start looking at these stores and stuff during the day, too. 
but right now I'm just sort of clearing these houses because we will find stuff eventually. I need to come up with how much canned food tonight do I need to come up with? Uh, six. This is a moon night too, by the way, so we're not going to have any infected. This is actually, this is the best possible scenario. I'm not going to have any infected, so we have to, we'll go on foot with some teams. We'll take this beat up car, really beat up car that has almost no fuel in it. And, um, first I need to refuel it. So it needs to drive up near the HQ to refuel. So hopefully it just gets some fuel. I don't want to put too much in it because it's really beat up and I want to waste it. So we'll just refuel it that much. And we'll have you go to this building, I guess. Or that one. Have you go to that building. Bigger buildings for the for that car because it's it's not going to want to move around as much. All right, we'll go over here and get this one. They're giving me a moon night. So with 61 people, I need to have... Is it 15? It's 15, right? Yeah. 15 food is going to be consumed when they wake up. Or at least during the day. So if I don't have 15 cans of food in this, then somebody's going to starve. Somebody's going to be really hungry. So that's the goal. Bring back 15 cans of food before they wake up. Okay. Now we have our mission. Now we know what to do. These guys are all close by. Every squad has some kind of... Uh, Everybody has some kind of uh, buddy system, right? We're going to have a, a team that can help and reinforce just in case. That kind of thing. We got vehicles to store stuff in so we don't have to keep coming back to HQ every time. Should be all right. If we hear any gunshots, then we know to focus on that temporarily. Uh, we could create another squad, but I'm, I'm good with what I got actually right now. All right. So let's see. So this has got two and three guns that's awesome so we got two food here one here so we're up to three Operator, ready for we got four Reporting. five six seven eight we're on a good this is a good Receiver. start i like how this is running ready for action. Let's do it. there we go There's nothing left. over here on this side all right let's ready keep moving ready for uh go get this building we'll have the, the slow car go get this one next There we go. Use the buddy system. No more to find. Search done. Yep. It's a moon night, man. Ready for action. Roger. I'm loving the moon nights. Because it means I can I can be a little more aggressive at, at night. It's still 1.30 a.m. though. We're getting real close. When we get to 15, I'm going to come back and deliver them now, and then I'll go back out. But I want to make sure that I get back to HQ in time. So as soon as I have 15 canned food, at that Search point, done. that's when I will, I'll bring it all back. Left. So this action. has a lot in it already. And we're just going to go into that house next. Here we go. These guys have a little bit. Clear. They'll go back to the car on their own. Uh, we got a horde. They're not wandering much. They're just kind of chilling outside the building, though. That's all right. They're just going to chill there and they're not moving. It's bright though. Full moon with clear sky causes the infected to stay indoors during the night. That's what it says. <laughs> uh, this isn't, not necessarily, I guess. Uh, go there and you guys are going to go back into your car. No, I can't unpause. Why can't I unpause? Is it because you see infected? Because that's... It's not a reason to not let me unpause. It's alright. Uh, you go there. And then you go there. And on this side, I want to go there. This is taking a long time to search, isn't it? There better be some stuff in there, man. These big buildings are always... They always take so much, so long to search. And there's not necessarily a guarantee that they'll have... Like, enough stuff in there to justify that, that duration and time. All right, I like having you guys search and then you guys going back to the car and then having this squad take this car back because that is a lot of canned food. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's pretty good. Three thirty. 
We got 11 cans in just that one car. We're going to have you take this to HQ now and make sure that that's unloaded by the time they wake up. All right. Truck has some stuff too. I think that's going to be my 15. So I'm going to have these two squads take their stuff back right now. Uh, actually, no. Let's leave the truck. Leave the truck. You guys do it because you're already full. So you guys go ahead and do that. The truck will stay out and gather more stuff. We have this squad here to help reinforce. Although I would like you guys to get closer together. So I'll probably bring the truck back after this. So these guys should unload it and hopefully they get done unloading that stuff before six. Before what time? Yeah, 6.03. Okay, we're really... I think we're too close. I don't like how close we are. I'm going to have the truck come back and do it too. So we're up to eight. Remember, we need 15 here for everybody tomorrow. And then I need all of them to be working on jobs related to food. Yeah, see, the sun's coming up right now. That is so close. Hopefully they bring the food first. 10. 14. Oh, baby. That was very close. We did it, though. We got it. All right, people. It's time. 18 food for the day. Loving it. Okay. We did it. So this is a junker car, but uh, you still have room for you. So I'm going to have you come out over this way. We're going to keep going and scavenging. Um, we're going to keep unloading the cars. I think that's still a good thing. Uh, but this group here can go ahead and disband as soon as they drop that stuff off. We can go ahead and disband that. I need people on the fields. So people on the fields, number one priority for everybody who's working right now. You're dropping that off. Excellent. Stop what you're doing and work the fields. There you go. And then you... If there's stuff in the cars, that's fine. We'll unload it later. You're going to unload the stuff or not? There you go. Disband. Go here. So everybody's working fields now. We have a negative 77% modifier from the temperature. Weird. In April? Wow, it's a really cold April. 40... 47 today in the middle of april yikes it's a really cold april screw you michigan <laughs> uh work the kitchen right just get everybody working get more people working in the kitchen instead uh we have a little bit of canned food left in here and then uh it does it does give us one day of food that's good satisfied should be good they're not gonna starve this is 37 four hours but 37 citizens are starving. They're, they're, they'll be able to eat now. It should be fine. We'll have to hope that there's no infected in this house. And then... Uh, they they did get this wall. This wall is, is moving. I'm, I'm liking that. That's good. Keep going with that. Keep going. Alright. So I was hoping to search the uh, search in the houses and finding a... Oh, hey, there's another squad over here. <laughs> I had no idea you guys were even there. Man, I left you guys hanging. That would have been a real drag. Just have four people with their guns just On not doing anything. I'll search this house. See if you guys find something. And maybe you'll find some infected, but hopefully not. All right. You guys are done. Lots of canned food there, too. Let's keep going. That was a tough winter to get through and, and have enough food for everybody for. Because not only could we not work fields and not actually cultivate anything there that way. Uh, yeah. Are we out of wood, too? No. So, what's taking so long to build this building? No more to find. What's taking so long, guys? All right. There's no progress being made. All right. All you guys. Builders. Go get the wood. Bring it back. There you go. Yep. That's right. Uh-huh. All right. These guys, you guys are good. Uh, I'm going to search one more house, and then I'll bring you guys back. You don't have anything to come back with, though. Go to the store. Go to that store. Hopefully, you come back with something. Although, it'd be nice to give you guys a car, but it's fine. Go ahead and get this house right here. Hopefully, we don't run into the dude I'm thinking of. Because, there's again, there's a chance to run into a different guy. 
And, uh... I'm hoping I don't run into him today. I just don't have time to deal with it. But we'll eventually run into him. Alright, building clear. That gives us... It gives us tools. That's pretty good. It's a good find. I'll do one more with the squad, and then I'll bring him back. And, uh... So that worked out. <sighs> good. 23 food. I guess they eat at the end of the day? I thought they ate at the very beginning of the day. Because I would have thought that they would have already consumed this, but apparently not. No more to find. Okay. No more to find. Oh, other squad. Right over here. So you guys have three canned food. All right, bring that back. Let's do it. Bring it back to HQ. And then you guys are good. You don't have a vehicle or anything, so I don't have to focus on you too much. You guys have a full inventory and a full car. Love it. All right. Yep. And you have more to get. Sweet. Cool. All right. Emptied it out. We have a full vehicle plus some inventory. Bring it back. And we're going to do this. Uh, I need to move these cars out of the way. Like everybody parks in the exact same spot when they unload here. So getting a warehouse just to unload stuff into is probably a good idea. Might I might have to do this one. Might do this one just to have some place to unload that isn't that. 142, 168. Let's do the 182 here. Make this a warehouse that so we can unload here. Instead of having everybody have an unload here. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, and then let's get somebody on deconstruction on this wall. I haven't done that yet. Uh, let's tear down. Who's going to be my Gorbachev? Uh, who's going to be? Man, there's like nobody working in any of these buildings. Everybody's working in food already. Oh, we have some... Okay, we have these guys. These two are going to be my Gorbachev. All right, you two, tear down this wall. Or just one of you, I guess. It's fine. Going there. Uh, in this case, this one person here will be my warehouse person. You can start making the warehouse. And we finally get these eight people to join us, too. Let's do it. So I got to believe that tomorrow we'll be able to have a full, the full value of these fields tomorrow. I got to believe that's a thing. All right, now let's have somebody. Can you move these cars? Move the truck. Just, just get them to where they're not stacked on top of each other anymore. All right, truck. Move here. That's fine. And then I want you to move to this vehicle. You move this thing out of the way. That's good enough. Then you got. You can go into this one. Yeah, we'll have this be here. And then this one. All right, they're not wasting any time tonight. They're coming at me right now, 7.15 p.m. They're already knocking at my door. All right, I, uh, good news, I have two barns. That's great. Um, it means I can process the meat and stuff better. Uh, we have 15 meat to go. I, I think we're gonna be fine on food now. Yep, I'm not worried about food at all. Now I have to just worry about safety. So probably everybody's assigned to the wall. That's where everybody is. <laughs> That's where all the labor is right here. All right, so I want another I want another squad. So we're gonna go zeros on these, and let's go zeros on these segments here, and let's get, grab another squad, another squad. All right. Initially, I'm gonna have everybody out. So, because they're gonna start tearing down this wall, and I don't want them to do that. So initially, we're gonna bring everybody out so we can start shooting them. We're not going to be able to see the damn thing. There's no visibility on that wall. So we're, we're uncovering a weakness here. Yep, this is a weakness in my design. I need to, I need this building to go. There we go. Shoot all of them. There we go. All right, so there's a little bit of a weakness in my design over here. Now, 
the original plan was to have a gate right here and that would have covered that but i still think having these buildings right next to each other like this is probably not a good idea most likely gonna have to tear this one down i need the buildings to be more spread out so i am gonna mark that one for demolition actually just so we can uh get that cleared out of here it does create a blind spot that i don't want to have to deal with for very long okay um we'll say where's my assault rifles the one with the assault rifle i apparently cannot click that team click the assault rifle team there uh now they're way over here i have people in the tower right i do but it's not going to be enough it never was okay well back in the car as we go you guys go here just make sure somebody's at hq back in the car as we go we're gonna have to rebuild that wall segment let's get over there let's get over there uh this car's faster we're gonna have to have it go around that way uh actually let's do it with this one yeah we'll do it with this one the station wagon stays let's go this way with it all right yep we're gonna go around and see if we can't distract him but over here just in case so we can help help the uh the tower Waiting orders. We're on the move. Operator. Operator. all right shoot them Receiving. Reporting. no not gonna go after the car eh there you go all right Get back to base. Ready for action. On my way. Get back to base. On my way. Now we're back into our usual defensive setup. But yeah, I need to start putting gates in. So I think I'll probably start that construction process once I know I'm good on food. Uh, gate here. Gate here. Uh, but main gate we'll use all the time. I'm hoping anyway is going to be here. Uh, alternatively, I don't need gates. I just have towers everywhere and then the gate will only be here. That will just create one exit. But I do like the idea of being able to respond this way a little faster. And so I, I do think gates are superior to towers. Towers have the advantage of not being attacked while they're defending the wall to where the gates will be attacked while they're defending the wall. So that's a little bit of a downside of a gate. Um, but, uh, if I remember correctly, you can have four people on the gate. You only have two people on the tower so maybe there's a trade-off there that's uh that's worth it We're on all right that's all they sent at me so we're gonna have the sun coming up pretty soon here 5 40 a.m uh i got everybody still on the fields i don't believe there's just no way you can hit me with a temperature modifier in may man there's just no way Okay, now we have the storm. So they can walk during the day. And I only have a 4% from the temperature. Okay. So that's that's good. Um, since they are going to potentially be able to get us during the day, though, I cannot have everybody... I, I have to be able to defend. So I'm going to have squads still. Uh, I think I will disband some just so I can have some more people working. Um, but yeah, and then we want to have at least, I think, probably... We can put four on the tools. We have nobody on research right now. I mean, I've, I haven't had anybody on research in a long time. And you know what? Let's actually disband this squad. We'll have four people on research as well. Um, I also want to get, I want to get somebody tearing down that wall too. Cause I want to start wrapping it around and closing it up, but we should not have anybody scavenging these. So we don't, nobody's scavenging this. Uh, nobody's out here, right? Nobody's out here. Good. And I'm okay with people being here. Yeah, you can tear this down. That's fine. Ready for action. Okay. We're ready to defend in case they, uh, they want to come wreck me. This guy's a little bit... We're running out of stock. He's like the furthest out that I would be comfortable with. But even then, if he sees the infected, I'm pretty sure civilians will run. Right? I think they run. I would certainly hope that they run. But I don't think I've actually seen an infected chase down one of my civilians during the day before, so. You know what? They didn't use nearly as much canned food as I thought they would. 
I think it's because we produce enough rations, right? So it, it's just, it was one of those things where we had just like one day, we were one day short of food and needed the rush for canned food. But now with the 22 supply, I mean, with the, yeah, with the 22 supply over there, I feel actually really confident given that it's the springtime now. Ready for action. Reporting. Uh, let's move you out here a little bit. We're not going to be able to respond quite as quickly as I'd like. Although this building is not what they'll attack. They'll attack this one if they do it. Let's move out over here. Just kind of take a quick drive. See if there's anything in the area. Just see if anybody's out here that might wanting to mess with us here. There we go. So far, everything is fine. They might be able to walk around during the day, but they're not walking towards me. Going there. Seems good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little adventurous here. Hold this squad back to about here. Actually, just put it in the put it in the car. That way, it can move faster. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, search this house down here, even though it's a stormy day, just to see if I can't find anything cool in there. We got one spare tool. So if I can bring back a tool, it means I get another field. So hopefully we find tools. Nope. Right there. Assault rifles ready to respond when needed. Wow, the rations are gone. The canned food is gone too. Well, not gone, but it's it's half of it is gone. We have so much meat. I need another cookhouse, don't I? No, I just need more people working in the cookhouses, right? Like, this is 70% full. This thing's not even 20% full. I just need more people in there. And then we'll be fine. Because, like, there's no reason why our rations are so low and our raw meat is so high. Right? And it's it's good to have two barns. I'm, I'm definitely into that. But what I think I should do is probably take, like, two people out of the barn and stick them in the cookhouse, right? Like I should get more people Receiving. cooking Let's do it. Our worker can't reach the destination. just to try to uh, work through some of that supply. How does it take so long to tear down this wall, man? Jeez. No Peter Martinez, you're, what are you like? You just really out of shape or what, man? I just feel like it's taking a very long time. Maybe I'm not being fair to Mr. Martinez, but Let's do it. I mean, that single wall, we've been working on that now for calendar wise, two months, right? I feel like maybe one could make the case that you're just not trying hard enough. Okay. Receiving. <laughs> All right. I think everybody's about to go back inside now. Yeah. Sunset's 655. Everybody's going back in. I made it through the food crisis. We did. We made it through the food crisis. And uh, no worries here for now. So uh, next video. I mean, more of the same. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. More of the same. I need to build the wall. Uh, the, the wall will be broken down, I think. I hope tomorrow this thing will be done. It's only 184 structure condition on this left. We can then have this wall go this way from here from here to here should be allowed to do that that'll be good and then uh from there i think it'll let me actually go right up against the building too that's interesting probably could have done that though but that leaves them open to attacking the building which is technically stronger than the wall so maybe that'd be all right but um once we get that done, though, we want, I think, a gate right here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff out this direction. So we'll have a gate there. Oh, sorry. It's this direction. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll have a gate there and then um, a tower to cover the difference. So the radius on this will be there. Okay. And then we do the metal gate. The radius on that is here. So right about there. 
is probably what we'll do. That covers the wall all the way. Yeah, probably about here. I'll cheat in a little bit. And then we'll put the tower, a new tower, right over here. I mean, it's pretty much like right on top of this building. Is kind of where I need this. I need it kind of like right here where this building is. So the building does have to go. We're just going to mark it for deconstruction. It does have to go. Uh, and I think if we can get the whole wall done all and surrounding me, uh, like I can, I can rest easy knowing that like, if anybody does come, I have such an extended period of time to respond to it. And as we get more and more citizens and I get them set up with towers and stuff that further expands how much time I have to respond to conflict to the point where when we see a horde, I don't need to make a squad. Uh, it's probably going to be fine. We'll have enough people shooting. It'll probably be fine. Um, but when that reality happens, once we're in that kind of position, we're going to be wanting to make our own ammunition because then we'll be blowing through ammunition as fast as we're blowing through canned food. We have 28 cases of this stuff now. So 2,800 bullets is awesome. Um, I have, I've been very good about finding ammo on the map. Uh, just not quite as good about finding food, but anyway, uh, I think that's going to do it for me on this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. I really do. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.